Good day from the virtual nephrologist and I hope all of you are in good and great health. I think by now, which is June 30th of 2020, we have all of us heard a lot every day, almost every second about COVID and Corona. And I think we have heard enough that we need to move on with our lives. So I'm not gonna touch on Corona and I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because information is everywhere and it is up to you to decide which ones you want to take. But what I want to talk about is hypertension or high blood pressure or high blood or elevated blood pressure. This disease in by itself is the most common disease on the face of this earth. It is the most common disease that lead to complication and eventually lead to our demise and death. It is mediated by high blood pressure and high blood pressure complication in the majority of the time. Hypertension that leads to stroke, hypertension to leads to intracranial hemorrhage, hypertension leads to heart disease, heart attacks, heart failure, hypertension that leads to peripheral vascular disease, abdominal aortic aneurysms, hypertension that leads to dementia, and in my field, hypertension that leads to kidney disease, chronic kidney disease, and even the need for dialysis. So we can really impact all these conditions by reducing our blood pressure to a safe range. Now, the question is, what can we do? The most important piece of information about a treat high blood pressure or hypertension is actually accurate measurement of the blood pressure. And the accurate measurement of the blood pressure depends on you, the patient, not your doctor. So I practice medicine and every time patients come to the office and we check their blood pressure, it is going to be very misleading data. And the reason is whether they had to drive for a long time, whether it was a long park, whether there was a long walk, whether they had a bad experience to come in with. So really that data in my office is very misleading. So what I will do is I will depend on you to check your own blood pressure and collect the data for me. So next time you come in, I will have accurate data so I can make the right decision for you. So. When I ask you to check your blood pressure, there are three pieces of information that you need to collect. The first piece of information is actually the top number on your machine, which is called the systolic blood pressure. The second piece of information is the low number, which is called the diastolic blood pressure. And the third piece of information is your pulse rate or your pulse. Why is this important? So this is important. So you bring it to me, I can make the right decision for you. So if you have an appointment with your healthcare provider in two weeks, so for a period of two weeks, you check your blood pressure twice a day, once before you take your blood pressure medicines in the morning and once late in the afternoon. And for every time you check your blood pressure, you have to record two recordings. So you check it in the morning, two blood pressure readings, and in the afternoon, two blood pressure readings and one minute apart and you record those on a sheet of paper and take them to your healthcare provider so they can make an accurate and a sound advice because if your blood pressure when you go to your doctor or healthcare provider is elevated then they're going to add more medicines but actually if you're living with a normal blood pressure this more medicine is going to make you tired have no energy and you're going to feel like your blood pressure is low and almost you're going to pass out on the other hand, if your blood pressure is low at the doctor's office because you've just taken your medicines and your blood pressure at home is elevated, then those readings can lead to the complication that I mentioned earlier. So the most important thing is that for two weeks, you record three pieces of data. You do it in the morning with two readings one minute apart, in the afternoon, one, two readings one minute apart, systolic, diastolic, heart rate, Systolic, diastolic, heart rate, you record those as a morning reading. Systolic, diastolic, heart rate in the afternoon. Systolic, diastolic, heart rate, and that is an afternoon reading that are one minute apart, and that are one minute apart. So take this data with you to your healthcare provider on a sheet of paper and provide that sheet of paper so they can make the right decision. Now, if you wanna know exactly how you should check your blood pressure readings, you can click on the link below. That link will take you to a website on how to check your blood pressure readings and how to see what to record and how to do it. And would also be there a log that you will print or download and take with you to your doctor. With this, I wish you a safe and healthy blood pressure and a stay safe. And yes, I am Dr. Rafai and I am a physician and love you all. 
To learn more about kidney disease, visit us on the web at thevirtualnephrologist.com.